hi guys in this video i want to show you how to use if statements and loops in our ejs files uh, i won't be using this uh, people.json for explaining this thing uh, instead i have created a, a gallery.json file within the data folder and in my gallery.json file i have an object and that has an array of images and each image contain uh, an object and each object has title and the URL and these URLs I have got from uh, a website a free stock photos you can go to the www.pexels.com and I have just right click each image and I have right click again and open link in a new tab and this is the URL that I have copied and the title i have uh, given the title by my own uh, this is the uh, sunset the woman the uh, sea and the view uh, whatever the title you want to give it so you can get the link of images from anywhere you want uh, i've got this from this side so this is the json file that I'm, i'll be using for uh, explaining you guys how to use if and loops so uh, keep it a gallery.json within the data folder so close it and again same as i required the data for the people i will just copy this line and paste it and i will name it gallery.json and i will name it gallery and same as i did for the app set data i will use gallery And the gallery here okay we can directly require the gallery inside our index uh, index.js file uh, but it is good if we add it once uh, within the app.js file rather than in multiple files okay so now uh, we need to get it inside this file uh, we can use our uh, request variable in order to get the data from this uh, gallery variable uh, so to do it uh, we need to just go right here and i will write gallery equals to request dot app dot get within the single quotes i will write the word that i wrote inside app dot set okay now along with this welcome message i can send out the images gallery dot images if I go to gallery we can see that we have the this whole object and if I just write gallery it will get the whole object in order to get the images I need to write dot images and that will return me an array of all these images okay uh, so uh, I'm done with it let's save both of these files if I go to sports men welcome nothing shows uh, and let's go and index.js file so we can see that we have this header and we can add a container uh, right here so I'm just gonna copy and paste the template that I want to use you can just pause this video and just write as it is this is the bootstrap container okay so this is the container we can add the main content within this div okay uh, so let's try to first add the main content i will just copy and paste this thing i just want to bring it in one line and let's save it and go to our browser and reload and you can see this is the main content shows up using the variables the one is from the global variable and one is the this uh, being sent from the view okay so now uh, inside the sidebar body we can show the gallery images and I just want to add the label right here let's go and reload you can see that this is the heading and this is the main content and under this gallery heading we can show all these images that are within the images array uh, so here I'm gonna use the if and loops uh, so uh, for adding our if and loops we need to use the same syntax uh, less than sign percentage and equals to uh, for using the if statement uh, we can use less than percentage if images dot length 
bracket and we can use for loop for using the for loop let's let's first end this thing and for using the for loop let's use the percentage sign again for i equals to 0 i less than images i plus plus and let's end it like this <clears throat> actually we need to close everything within the ejs syntax and everything that belongs to javascript if statements variable data binding and these curly braces uh, doesn't belong to html so whatever doesn't belongs to html we need to add it inside our ejs syntax okay now within the for loop we can just use the image element and source equals to and we can just get the value and for getting the value after the percentage sign we know that uh, we need to use the equal sign okay so images i dot url this is a property in each object of image and uh, let's end it with percentage and greater than uh, let's add alt and within the alt let's use images i dot title okay let's end it and after that let's add the width and height so for the width let's say 100 pixels for the height let's say 80 pixels and let's add the margin let's add inline styles so margin 5 pixel Okay, I think there is no any syntax error. Let's go to our browser and reload it. Images are not showing. So let's go back to our code and there must be error here. Uh, we have a for loop. Oh, we need to write images dot length right here. All right. And let's go to our browser and reload page. Now images must show up. You can see that we have four images if we would have more images let's go to our gallery.json and i'm going to copy uh, these three images again and i'm going to paste it right here and let's add a comma right here to remove any syntax error let's go to our browser and you can see all the images are being shown on the right side of this page because because we have used bootstrap and bootstrap have uh, contained this content on the left side and the gallery on the right side so we are done with understanding how to use loops and how to use conditional statements within our egs files in the next video that is very important for you guys because i'll be talking about partials because right now i'm not navigating to any other page and i want to load the content of people directly in my container right here rather than navigating to a separate page okay so let's wait for it make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the like button and comment below if you have any question